I was under the impression that Jude was the one who occupied your every waking thought. Uh, come on now, don't be silly. Is it obvious? Yes, I'm afraid it is. You know, I once thought that if I became a nurse, that I might find happiness. After all, when Jude's happy, I'm happy. Simple enough, right? But now, I'm starting to get the feeling that Jude just might be better off without me. I mean, I don't want to get in his way again, you know? Leah, would you like to know what my reasons are and why I've decided to go along with Jude and Mila? Are you willing to tell me? I would like to be there to walk with them in the future that they wish to create. <laughs> that sounds like you. But that's not all. Huh? I plan to take the lead and pull the two of them along behind me. That is my true desire. And I? What do I really want? I think you already know your answer, miss. What I really want is to see Jude's smiling face again. I suppose that's it. That's a good reason, isn't it? Hey. Don't you want to sit? You've changed. Not really. To be honest, I'm so scared I can't even sleep. I told you before, if we can just dispel the schism, I'll handle everything from there. There's no reason for you to be afraid. Mila! If the schism disappears, so will the temporal crossroads, right? Yes. The destruction of the schism means the death of Maxwell. The temporal crossroads were born from Maxwell and that unique spirit climb, so they will vanish too. Why? Why didn't I realize what's happened to you? Hmm? I know. You never told me because... because you wanted me to find my own answer first. Isn't that right? for me that way. Huh? The entity known as Maxwell is essential for the spirits. So they will need a new Maxwell. Then we won't be able to stay together anymore? The sadness of parting is a human emotion. Such emotions no longer apply to me. And there's no other way, is there? Maxwell created me, so perhaps he could restore my human body.
Jude, is that what you really want? Let's create a new future for all the spirits and people in the world. And let's create it together. Together. Gaius! Just relax. I've come here to tell you something, and that's all. Well? What then? We are ready to commence our operation, to wipe out every Spyrex in Olympias. So your attack from before was just to check whether Spyrites were usable? Exactly. You came here to tell us that? No. Listen. You have a dream for the future of the world that is vastly different from mine. So... Take it easy. This is a piece of Musée's power. The power to slice through space? What of it? Here, I give you a chance to return to Reza Maxia quietly if you choose to. <laughs> You'd still offer us a chance to end things peacefully. Gaius! You know full well that we can't walk the same path. Not anymore. If you wish to make your dream a reality, then come and face me. I won't run, and I won't hide. Wait. What about Muse? She is very torn. She has incredible power, yet she knows not how to use it. In hindsight, I was cruel to force such a weak person to become strong so suddenly. He wants to save her too, doesn't he? Hey. Hmm? I know I might just be fighting for selfish reasons now. But I know that I have to go face Gaius. I need to get a grip on these fragile feelings. Otherwise, I won't become the adult I want to be. So, Mila... If I ever stray from my path, promise me that you'll be there to remind me who I really am. I will. Sleep well? Yes. That might have been the best sleep I've had in my entire life. I was dead to the world. I decided I'm coming with you. I won't bore you with my reasons, though. Thanks, Leia. Let's do our best. Yep. Coming too, and me three. I shall accompany you as well. Wouldn't do for the only Olympian here to sit this one out. So you've made up your minds. Then there's something we need to tell you. Check this out. 